The first poem is entitled, I Must Protest. Ding dong, the witch is dead, the Wizard of Oz. I must protest, beloved friend, though all my worldly goods are wearing thin. Much of what you think and beatifically envision is not in keeping with the season. These times are rich and full of witty guile for a very small percentage of a very self-appointed few. Only atheism has any real vigor left, admirable flexibility in its outer extremities. The rest has taken a depreciating turn for garter belt-loving priests, market-savvy rabbis, and other gross that cataract the inner eye. Not much more need be said. Art and science will always clothe this year's man, robes and shawls encased in stormproof mothballs. The second piece is entitled Cancer. It's derived from the tarot cards and it's based on the astrological sign Cancer. Unendowed with wealth or pity, Little birds with scarlet legs sitting on their speckled eggs. I, each flu infected city. W. H. Auden. The river bed is dry, the channel seasonal. Along the banks, the buzzing of flies. The dryness of the season bodes no portent, nor the hum of machinery within lofty spires. Torrential rains have come. Tornadoes spun, destruction in the seeded, fertile lands. The high priestess who administers will allow the strictly appointed to pass. Rivers overflow, sweeping markers, boundaries lost in the breaking of levees, while winds roar down the skulls of hatchlings. The remainder flee the scene, lacking documentation. Their passports show tiny, uncomprehending faces. Another evening. Another evening vaults the sky. Excitement on the surface races. What more is there to know? Users of discourse that disciplines indulge have little patience for our teary roles. Is there someone who followed you down the rabbit hole, out into a wonderland of your own? Find him if you can. Hear him, with one character more rabid than the next. The queen, the hatter, the caterpillar. He'll follow you, Alice, as far as the heart can go. What will it cost us? Whatever we had in mind long, long ago, on the other side of the mirror. The next poem is entitled Father in Remembrance of My Own Father. Father, how did you refine yourself so far? The delicacy of your intense focus has all my admiration. I could never shape my dreams into a still cloud. No rain, no hail, but the blissful mercy of some passing shade. All passion was played out in a game with rules. We can mock it well and play it still. You knew the inner man and called him friend. Dare I hope to meet your kind again. The childhood that never ends, you could enter it at the slightest whim, is blocked for me until I remember you. We are children together, playing some endless boyhood game. The score mounts, the wind blows off the great lake, as something is calling us, calling us, calling us to come back in. And the final piece is called Trout Fishing. Trout Fishing. When you hear old men speak of boyhood streams, trout in clear, dark water, you think to visit them. It takes time to see. Those waters curb no shore, nor those fish take bait.